Today on In the Woodyard, Kenneth here. We got a new saw to show. Here we go. So last night we got back about midnight, right? At our own area. We were at the Paul Bunyan show. It was just awesome. We were only there for a day and a half because that's all the time we had. We had to get back. And uh, so we got back about midnight last night and then Tony's- Tony had to be back. Tony had to for be For good back. reasons. Yeah, his daughter's getting married, so he had to get going. Otherwise we would have stayed another day. It would have been awesome. Next year, we're going for the whole show. We're gonna, we can't believe how great the show great is. Great meet was awesome. Yeah, it's just awesome people. I, it's just shocking because we haven't, we don't get out that much. We work most of the time. We don't know you people. <laughs> yeah. You know us. We don't know you. That's the hard part. It is hard for us because people come up to you like you're like your your lifelong friends, and we don't know who you are. But it sure is nice to f finally put a, you know, the name and the face together that we we see yeah. in the comments and stuff a like that. A lot of the guys that commented, and I'm like, oh. You're that guy, you know. Yeah. So like, yeah. I, I got a few faces now, a few. <laughs> a few. Yeah, but there was we probably <clears throat> met at least a hundred people, Lots. at least a hundred or more that watch the channel. We appreciate it. It's really nice. We're just a couple guys that cut wood. We're not in special. Well, he's kind of special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, we uh, we got back late last night. Got finally got a good night's sleep. We weren't uh, up partying all night like the other nights. Well, you know, there's a couple of guys by the name of Shive. <laughs> a couple of guys Shive by and Shive. <laughs> <laughs> he called us on the way home last night. He was. They, they were still partying. He was still giving her. <laughs> that was a good time. Oh, yeah, we had a good time. Really nice meeting everybody. Can't wait to go again next year. Next year, oh, uh, it's, we're, we're we got all kinds of plans for next year. We're gonna probably do a booth and everything. It'll be cool. That way we can kind of have a central location and between me and. Tony and Kenny, we can take turns man in the booth and then take turns so it's not such a, a cage to be in for the days and do yeah, some walking. Yeah, that's a cage there. sitting in a booth. Yeah, it's the people that do it, I've done trade shows and if you've never done one, you have no idea how much work that is to be on your feet, to be presenting, talking, showing all day long. Um, even like when we were just at the show, um, any of the logging shows we've been to where you know people, you try to go to the bathroom and you got people talking to you on the way and they keep talking while you're in the bathroom and you don't get a break. <laughs> Which is fine, we don't care. So anyway, Kenny so, had, has a saw here he bought. So I was consulting with Tony and Chris, said, because we're talking needs and wants on our way home <laughs> last night. Everybody said, well, I need that or I want yeah. that. Well, yeah. what's the difference? Well, this saw, would be the smallest saw that I own other than my little bitty home light I have, but that doesn't even count. But I did a job this summer. Um, two of my saws were down at the same time, my 372s. And uh, I had a buddy, he said, oh, can you come help me do this job? He said, that's oh, only gonna take a couple hours. So I get there in the morning. And he, he said, says, there's what? He says, it's gonna trees. be like five, six trees. Yeah, yeah. He's got the excavator there. All I gotta do is drop them and limb them and He's gonna chop them up and haul them out. We're clearing a lot for a pole building to be built. So I pull up seven o'clock in the morning, I'm looking at trees, and I start counting trees with ribbons on, because that's usually indication. Yeah. There was 40 trees, and these were big, bushy spruce trees, limbs almost to the ground. I'm like, a couple hours? I said, there's no way. And what saw did you have along? I had the 395. I'm thinking, oh my <laughs> God, I got a limb spruce of the 395 all day? <laughs> well, I did. We got her done. But all day. It took me eight hours, yeah. you know, time we chopped them up. And then he cleared the lot the next day. He dug the stumps out and did everything else. But my, I was just a saw guy that day. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm too old for that 395 all day. Lemon. Oh. That's not a lemon saw. Even just, even just <coughs> felling trees, carrying it through the woods, it's, yeah. it's a lot to carry. Well, this was basically in a yard, but still. Yeah. yeah. So. The, and I ran Jerry's uh, 562. I did a tree job the other day. I had to climb up on top of a tree and all that fun stuff. So I borrowed his 562, which I'd ran a little before that. Yeah, and I did too, really a nice saw. Nice little saw, it's like, okay. And the reason a lot we kind of lean towards the 562, the main reason is a lot of people like the, is it the 550 or whatever that is? There's, there's the next one down, goes a three two five chain. Yep. Which we, I don't like. You um, can convert it, but Mike Yeah, we wanna stick with the three ace. I got all three ace chains, I got yep. all three ace bars and you yeah. know, so we kinda wanted to stick with that. And this it's a little smaller, a little lighter, probably maybe a little faster than the, the five fifty. I don't know. I, I, I don't ran know. a five fifty. I never had a direct comparison and the only real only real way to, to tell on the saws side is to side. is to run a whole tank 
then pick up the other one, run a whole tank, then go back to the other one, run a yeah, whole tank. You can't run a saw for Just, five minutes and no, no. Even like when you guys go to the shows and you're in the booths running the Husqvarna saws, doing a couple cuts. Yeah, you can tell it cuts really good, but until you take two different saws and, and run a bunch and then cut a bunch and then go back and forth, that's when you really start to learn the saw and what it does, its tendencies, how fast it is, trigger response, all that kind of stuff. So, but we ran, we both ran the 562 up at Jerry's, cutting yeah. his wood up. Yeah, I liked last it. winter. I loved it. Um, yeah, because I used my five my 595, and then I used my 572, and then I went to this 562. And at the end, when I was getting tired, it's like, man, that's a nice saw. Yeah, end so. of the day. That's a good end of the day saw or, or, or lemon. Lemon. Mostly for me, it's a lemon or a small job or yeah. small jobs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, it's in the box. We're gonna open it up, and then later on, we're gonna go do just a little bit of cutting with it because we don't want to blow it we up. Gotta warm it up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna. So here's how it compares. It's uh, for those of you that don't know about the uh, Husqvarna lineup, the 500 series. Uh, the 500 is the newer series. The 562 is the smaller one. Then there's the 572, which is back here. I'll bring the people in closer so they can see. So. Yeah, there's the 572, which is right here, and then there's the 592. So I think the three saws, if a guy was to say, hey, what three saws should I get to cover all the bases? Or four saws, I would say these three plus a little top handle for doing And I do got to say, I'm an, X, like I'm an XP guy. I've never had a... Well, these are auto, XPs. It's auto tune, tune XP, no. I've yeah. never had an auto tune. This will be my first one. Yeah, because you've always had the three series. I got three series saws. So yep. Yeah. This will be a new one on me. Yeah, and I like mine. I, all you do is run them. I, I don't really do anything with them. So let's open this puppy up and see what you got in there. So, yeah, we were at the Husqvarna booth, and there was a lot of people there that that uh, were looking at saws that knew us, and I told them the honest truth. They're great saws. They work. <laughs> So you gotta know. Yeah. It doesn't matter what brand. Oh, there's a chain. chain. It's an X cut. So that takes a C83. So it's a 20 inch bar you got, right? Yes. 20 oh, and I bar. threw a bunch of stuff in here. Look at there. Do oh. rest, do DIY. What do we got here? Do we on the Pine Timber Company here? We, yeah, got, we've been... we got souvenirs in here. Oh, and here's a hikes boot. The boots we tried on that we're gonna get. Here we got some more firewood. Look at that. There she is. Here's Tony's cool tools, cause I've this ain't no big deal here. <laughs> oh, that's that's killing her, Chris killing her. Killing her, yeah. Larry Cluck, I see there. What do we got? This is Larry oh, Cluck outdoors. Jeep. Larry Cluck. Freaking Jeep. Jeep. K and L again. Here's freaking Jeep again. K Here's K and L outdoors with Here's Andy. Outdoors with Andy. Yes, yeah, so yeah. we, we got handed a lot of stuff. We met a lot of people that I don't remember them all. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh, here's another one. Oh, what do you got there? Oh, or a wood burner, oh, old Joe. 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 Yeah. yeah, we talked to Joe. So okay, there's your scrunch in there's there. There's my wrench. All right, get that out of the way. And you could run a 24 inch bar on this, but a 20 is probably more appropriate for the size of the saw, I think, anyway. Yeah, I think so too. But here it is 562 XP. Got the nice flip up caps with the full turn. It's not the, you can actually yeah. crank it and get it tight. I'm so gonna have to get used to that. I don't have any I, saws of that either. I got both. I like these better. But, now these, I've had them but these are these are unlike the steel ones that leak all the time. <laughs> right, just because you so can what's actually. The difference? What's the difference between well, them? The difference is, is when you go to turn these in, you go in, it's got an actual thread. So you got, look at it, one, two, three. Flip it. About four. And a flip. Half turn, so about two full turns, and you flip it down. The still, it's just a half, a quarter turn like that, and you pull it out. Yeah. Well, they don't get tight, and they leak. Yeah, I know, because I've dealt with that. Yep, but. I have too. A lot of guys I talk to, like, yeah, they leak. So there's that. And okay, well, stills. you're going to have to get some gas and oil, but yep, yeah, we'll get some. I got to get, I I gotta get a bar on here first. One in. Well, I won't say I wouldn't be the first one that's grabbed their saw and went to cutting and. <laughs> I've had oil but, running down there. Oh, leg. I've done it. I've done that. If you haven't done that, you haven't cut very much. <laughs> so yeah. we've got to see. Yeah. Yeah, I've done it. Look at here. We can check our nuts. Yeah, you got the different, two different uh, wrenches yeah. for checking the tightness on all your stuff there. Yeah, so that's uh, good. 
And you got a short scrunch. Just like Chris. I like the short ones for in my pocket. Yep. But when you're working with them, I don't like them because you bust your knuckles all the time on hitting yep. stuff. Yep. So. You should be just done. And those got the keeper nuts, so. Oh, fall out. I don't have any of those either. This is all a new experience for me. Yeah, you get them until they just, and then it should be loose enough, and then you do the other one. Oh, they don't come off. Nope, they're keepers, so you can't lose them in the woods. Oh. Isn't that nice? <laughs> it is. It takes a little getting used to because when you go to put it on, you got to get them lined up just right. You got to fight them, them a little bit, yeah. Gotta, well, it's a little technique to it, yeah. I always tip mine up and then lift it up, and then it should pop off. It should pop off now. I don't know. It's a new saw. I don't know. Yeah. And they just hook in there. Can't get it apart. It should pop. Too off technical. Here. There you go. It's so so new. It's tight. Well, it is, it is tight. I don't know what's holding us back here. That I think just that rubber for the mud flap there. No, it's flipped out. No, it's just get a hammer. I'll get it off. Okay, so here's a little lesson we, we just learned. We learned a lesson. We learned a lesson. So I had the camera off because we were fighting at it and there were some bad words said. So, Not really. <laughs> a couple. So what it was is we had the nuts, the, the keeper nuts on the side, the bar nuts here to keep the, the bar on, the cover plate. And we had them off and it was loose and the brake was released. No, the brake was set. The brake set. was set. It was set. And so it was tight, it was on. The, sp the spring here was tightened on the clutch, so it wouldn't release it, and we couldn't get it off. It was, we don't want to break it because it's new, you know. So I tightened the nuts back down, got them on tight. Release I was able brake. to release the brake, and the cover came right, came off. right off. So basically, right. we were getting we were, ready to get on YouTube and Google it. <laughs> we were and all getting that. ready to look somebody up and say, "How do you do this?" I got the book out and say, "What? The, <laughs> it can't be that hard." So we got because this right. is a little different design than the five seventy two. Yeah, I mean the clutch usually sits down in there. I mean the the oil pumps here and it's like this is a different design i've not seen this before yeah but we got it so it only it took is. us three hours and 27 minutes nah, right? it took about two minutes yeah <laughs> <laughs> we just turned the camera off because i didn't know what the heck we were doing we said we better figure this out before we show everybody <laughs> we got her so now we got it we're not that bright well you know Once we again. are the typical person that cuts wood you only need two things Strong back and a weak Strong mind. Strong back and, we, and a weak mind. We qualify. <laughs> my back is getting weaker as, <laughs> yeah. over time too. So, yeah. and my mind's getting weaker too. So I don't. It's not a bad combination. <laughs> yeah. So the brake had to be released. We it was set, and we took the nuts and off for loose. And it was the cover was so loose we couldn't we couldn't uh, reset the brake. I uh, released the brake. Yeah, and I turned that a whole bunch of times thinking that would loosen it up yeah. somehow, but... Well, I gotta see where to... Yeah, this has gotta go forward, it looks like. Or this could be pulled forward. This way. One of the things I like about the new Husqvarna chains, well, a lot of makers are starting to do this. They're putting that brass link or whatever it is there, color-wise. So you know where you are. It's a good place to start for sharpening. See, I don't pay no attention to that. You just go, yeah. Because I, I just look at the next tooth. I can look at the tooth and yeah, see if it's sharp. I, I mean, know. But it just kind of... You're almost there. We're going to bring the bar a little bit right there. There you go. There you go. We'll get her here. How many six drills does it take to put a bar on a saw? Evidently more than more one. More than two. <laughs> that is a nice size saw though. For as fast as they cut, yep. I got a feeling once I use this thing a little bit, I'm gonna want one. You're, it would be nice to have. You're gonna have to find some uh, gas and oil. Yep, we'll get some, we'll get some. See, the hole is smaller than the wrench. It's bigger. I'm augering it out here already. Yeah, well. There you go. That's a cute little saw. I mean, it is. It's actually not a tiny saw, but no, it's compared it's to actually, the other saws. Actually, for an average guy that wants a really good saw, I mean, compared to this that, this would be a nice saw. Yeah, that's a lot lighter. Yeah, than just a 572, it's a lot lighter. Yeah, well, that's why I got it. Yeah, 
All right, well, let's uh, find some oil and gas here. We'll give it a test run. Start it up. What do I we guess... got here? Decompression, it shows. Oh, and it's, it shows it's got decompression. Yeah, but here, this little, this little schematic here is not on my other saws at all. I just want to see what the air cleaner, look at that little bit of air cleaner, wow. That's a tiny guy. That's the smallest air cleaner I've ever seen. Yeah. Wow. Well, no, time will tell. It's a new, it's a new model. That's for sure. For us, anyway, they've been out for over a year that I know of. Well, a year is pretty new. Yeah. It's got just same as same as the 592. It's got the three clips instead of the four, like a lot of the four, three series where they, they got the, the four. <coughs> All right, go find some gas and oil. So let's talk about that. We just learned a lesson. We just learned a good lesson. So we so called called Jerry. I called Jerry. One. He's the one to help us do the little welding jobs. Yeah, yeah. And he, uh, he's got one, and he didn't think about it till after the fact. So I just called him back. He said, "Oh yeah, I've had that happen." So you got to have the brake disengage. Disengage your brake before what? you loosen your nuts. Yes. Otherwise, the spring will, will hold it in place, and you can't get it off. So what we did originally, the mistake we made is we loosened the nuts up. Yeah. The brake was on. We're trying to take the cover off. Well, the brake won't disengage, and I disengaged the brake after I had the cover hanging in my hand. That so, doesn't work. You got to because the spring is hooked in there, and you can't. Yes. You can't pull it off. We, so we knew we did. We're forcing something we your, shouldn't. Your cover bolts have to be on, on. before you disengage, disengage your brake. Well, your the cover's got to be tight. It's a rookie yeah. mistake, but we're rookies, yeah. so. Well, we got it. We got it. Well, Never had that happen. It, it can it happen. It was a new experience. <laughs> well, it's a new saw, so yeah. then we know. Okay. So for those of you that if you buy one of these, you got to know that. So now we're going to put some, he's going to christen it here, put a little bit of gas and oil in. some love juice here. We're not going to run this hard or nothing. No, and just take it easy. We got to give her a little break in time here. So, you see this here? It's a little window. Yeah, it's got a sight glass. I yeah. saw that. Yeah. There was a time when Husky made a clear handled right tank. Right. But they all would crack and leak. I had because it was brittle plastic. It was harder plastic. You could see through it. You could see the gas. Yeah. But they would all crack and leak. We ended up uh, JB welding it on the seam here. That right. So now I got this little sight window. So when you tip right. it up, you can see there's. there's that is kind of nice. Fuel in if there. If you pay attention to that kind of thing. Yeah, I just cut till I'm empty. Yeah. <laughs> and I fill exactly it back up. But there's all kinds of little features they put on here. So put some some lube in there. And now that they give the lube away, I'm sure he's going to fill it up and take it home with him. <laughs> wow. I got a 55-gallon drum in my garage. I'm not sure to bar oil. There we go. Those are on. This one's on. That's good. You got a primer. Okay, so we got a primer. And there's, we gotta no, wait. there's no number that you need to stop at because it, it will, uh, once you get it full, it's full. So I talked to the guys about it, that uh, the sales guys, they say, yeah, just prime it. <laughs> they usually say, if you can see gas in, once it gets primed, you'll yeah, see gas right, in I there. I still don't have any gas. Yeah, just keep priming it because you got to pump, pump the whole thing full. And once it's in there, you just give it, I, don't know, I usually give it three, four, five. So, you know, Jerry told me seven. Oh, everybody's, well. everybody's got their well, magic at, at least, I'm saying, at least, yeah. But yeah, you want to give it a few primes and then you prime it up and it goes. And then if you've yeah. got an older saw, the three series, it's going to have a different uh, on-off switch and yeah, choke system, which I'm I'll show you. I'm just learning this one, too. Yeah, I, first when I first had it, I didn't like it. The, thing, the only thing I don't like about this compared to the old ones is the old ones, you knew when your choke was on because you could see it sticking out. You That's know, the, blue, the thing. The blue lever. That's the thing. And then once it starts, though, it's down. So to turn it on and off, I'll kind of show you what you got to do. For those of you that have Come them. Come on. So we got to put this up to pump this? You might have to. Or is it just... Yeah, in the first time you probably got to prime this thing. Yeah, there it's oh, coming. There we go. There uh -huh. she's coming. Yeah, it takes a good, looks like probably 20 pumps before you're getting. 
I don't know if it's because I stood it up or not. Probably not. It's just. A, I think you can probably. It's just a vacuum deal. Yeah. It is. Yeah. So then what's different on this switch compared to your old saws is your choke, you pull this up like that, and that's right. choked. And when you get it running, you just flip it down, right. and it stays, that's the run position. When I shut it off, you just push this down, no. and it disconnects the, the, the connection for the, uh, the electrical current. Yeah, connects. yeah, so, you're shutting off. So that's your choke on, that's choke off, run, and that's shut it off. That's it. It's pretty simple. So that's choke on. Choke on. Yep. So let's see what happens. So now do I take my choke off as you cough? Once it farts, I take it off. So you go down? Yep, just that's it. And then you're ready to run. Chain's a little tight, but
Is Mikey likey? Mikey likey. <laughs> oh, no, it's all right. I hit some shit. It's dull. dull. See the oh. brown on there? Oh, yeah. There's always something. It looks like it cuts really nice. Yeah, well, we didn't even sharpen the chain. That's no. out of the box. So, yeah, that's I mean, out of the box. That's not even a sharp chain. It's no, it looks like it's cutting real no, good. It's cutting real good. That was a good break in for it. Yeah, yeah, that's what guy said. Do. Just run it. I'm running it. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't baby it. Yeah, that's one of the hardest things on a saw is ripping. I know. That's what the guy told I'm me. I'm sweating. Break, breaking it in, just cut. I got it's... my I got my saw shirt on. Today. Look at that. Huh? <laughs> I gotta take this off. I'm hot. Yeah. It don't take long. No. Yeah, and that dry Ooh. ash cuts hard too, so. Yeah, I think that pattern in that under the bark is pretty cool looking. Yeah, with the Even wood. though it's emerald ash borer tracks, but whatever. Yeah. yeah. So that, now we got a dull saw, but we got some pieces smaller. So there you go, there they are. This is a 93cc saw, the 592. The 572 is a 71cc saw, and the 562 is a 60cc. This is a 93cc. Yep, yep, 93. 93, yeah. 70, 71, and 60. 60. And from what I saw, I didn't cut, you did the cutting, but it yeah. cuts dang nice. It's a chainsaw. It's, it's a chainsaw. It better. Yeah. It better. Well, this would be a nice lamp. We are just talking, you know, as we, get, <coughs> as we get older, you know, I like the speed, the big saw. It's just fun to cut with a big saw, but uh, it's probably more fun to cut all day long well, with a little one. <coughs> I think the speed's pretty much the same. They're all so? probably turning 13, 13, 5. That's about yeah, a little more power. For some reason, it's just, you got so much more power if it gets a little bit dull. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. But when your smallest saw gets dull, you know it right away. Right, right. But yeah, very nice. No. So people are going to ask me what's the weight difference. I don't know. Go to the Husqvarna site. Yeah. Look, them up. look it up. We don't, we we don't, don't know offhand. All yeah. I know is it's that's heavier. This that's is heavy. This one's not as heavy. And this one's lighter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and you have a 20 inch bar on here, which is a nice size bar for yeah. that smaller saw. And one of the things, like we mentioned before, part of the reason we like this. Uh, the 562 versus the the five what is it 55 i think or whatever it is the next one down yeah you got you, you that. go to 325 chains right so then right. you get that little bit of chain which can be converted yeah but then the guy says well you should probably only run a 16 inch bar well i'm not going to go to 16 inch bars right. it's too short right. right so you can do what you want yeah but that would be a nice lineup for a guy i'm thinking you know for a guy that cuts a lot this would be a nice three saws to have and i if i if i had these three sizes, if I wanted a four saw, I for sure would get another 572 because that's the one that's kind of in the middle and you use a lot and it cuts good. And Yeah, I've got, what do I have? You got the three, 372. I got two 372s. Actually, I got three and I got a 575, which if I ever get it back from the shop, I don't know. The guy never tore it apart on me yet, so that might be a dead saw. I don't know. I'm hoping to get it back on it. But for a guy that's gonna buy one saw to depends cut on, all of his stuff, depends on what you're doing. If you're, you're just not, doing normal wood, this is a saw. Like if you're cutting wood just for yourself, yep, this would be an awesome saw. Yep, which is real similar to a four or a, or a five sixty rancher or four sixty rancher. Is that I four don't series? Know. Yeah, but this five sixty two is a really nice size saw. And it's not going to kill you. Um, our buddy Jerry's got one. He's 70 some years old. 73. He yeah. loves it, and that's the saw that we uh, we ran a little bit and, and really liked it, which is part of the reason we kind of considered it. And I kind of thought it'd be a nice saw to have. So there you go. The saws are on the tailgate. And uh, in tomorrow's video, we're going out to the farm. Kenny hasn't seen the new wood yard, so we're going to go nope, out there. We're, so. we're going to go check out the new yard. It'll be on tomorrow's video, 5:30 a.m. You know what to do. Hit the buttons. We'll be back then. Go to my channel, pokey, watch some pokey. other videos. Yeah, watch, watch some other videos. <laughs> I never poke no buttons. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for today, uh, folks. Good night, Irene. <laughs>